Good morning, Southwest Lawrence Elementary. Happy Monday, February the 14th, 2022. Happy Valentine's Day. At this time, we're going to pause for a moment of silence as we reflect upon our anticipated activities of today. Thank you. At this time, we're going to pledge allegiance to our country's flag. So wherever you are, let's stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we're going to say our PBIS mission statement. At Southwest Lawrence Elementary, we aim to develop positive, hardworking, respectful achievers. Our lunch menu for today, we have bacon cheeseburger, pizza, yogurt lunch bag, french fries, fresh carrots, and fruit choice. Our birthday is to celebrate yesterday and today. So yesterday, on Sunday, Morgan Lord, Arlo Platt, and Walker Wade. And today we are celebrating Jordan Foreman and Aiden Wilbur. So happy birthday, you all. Hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday and hope you have a great birthday today. Now, don't forget this word of the month, excuse me, our word of the month is compassion. And our animal, as you can see behind me, is a chimpanzee. And so, compassion, remember, is caring enough to do something about someone else's needs. Now, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to turn it over to some of our boys and girls and they can give you some more examples of how they have shown or have received compassion throughout this week or maybe in the past. So, I'm going to turn it over to them and I'll be right back in just a moment. My name is Aubrey and the way that I show compassion is by helping my mama clean the house. My, hi, my name is Bill and the way I show compassion is helping my mom around the house. Hi, my name is Emma and the way I show compassion is whenever I help my mom get all the groceries out of the car whenever she gets a lot. Hi, my name is Heather, and the way I show compassion is by picking up trash in the playground, helping my mom with the groceries, and cleaning my room. And the way I, my grandma helps me clean my room sometimes because it's really messy because of my brother. Hi, my name is Brian, and I, in a way I show compassion is helping my brother when he falls down. Hi, my name is Lila. I show compassion by, by respecting and helping my teachers and friends. Jay, and I help my grandma pick the weeds out for flowers. My name is Mariah. I help my mama every day. Thanks, my mom needs help. My name's Braylee, and I help the mama do the dishes. My name is Aubrey, and I know how to do listen to my mom. My name is Katie. I help my mom and do the dishes. My name is Hermia. I show compassionate by helping my granddaddy in the yard. All right, so thank you so much for sharing that with us, boys and girls. And don't forget, today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you all. I do want to flash back on February the 14th, also back in history, on two important dates. On February 14th, 1859, Oregon became the 33rd state in the United States of America. And then on this day, February 14th in 1912, Arizona became the 48th state in the United States. So pretty cool. So February 14th has a very special meeting on Oregon and Arizona. Now, let's go back in history also as we talk about our Black History Month. And so again, we're talking about different individuals have a tremendous impact on society as we have, as we have it today. But on this day, we want to honor the life and legacy of Miss Ella Baker. Ms. Baker was a major force in shaping the development of the Civil Rights Movement. She was a field secretary and branch director for the NAACP and also co-founded an organization that raised money to fight Jim Crow laws. Additionally, Baker was a key organizer for Martin Luther King Jr.'s Southern Christian Leadership Conference, the, C the SCLC. One of her biggest contributions to the movement was a student nonviolent coordinating committee, the SNCC, which prioritized nonviolent protests, assisting and organizing the 1961 Freedom Rides, and aiding and registering black voters. The Ella Baker Center for Human Rights continues to carry on her legacy. How cool is that? Now, I'll do something a little different this time. I want to turn it over to one of our fifth graders. Um, Giles Garrett is going to bring in a sports segment on our morning news show. So I'm going to turn it over to Giles for our sports segment of the month or the week, and I'll be right back here in just a moment. Hi, my name is Giles Garrett. 
and I would like to tell everybody Happy Valentine's Day. Here I am with SWLA Sports. The Winter Olympics, a cold and amazing series of sports. One of the unique sports is bobsledding. Today I want to highlight the Jamaican bobsled team. Now keep in mind, in Jamaica right now it is 87 degrees. You would imagine that a country like Jamaica will not have a bobsled team due to the weather. But they defied all odds in the 1988 Calgary, Calgary Olympic Games in Canada. Sadly, they got knocked out of the race by a terrible crash. Thankfully, they were all okay. They did not take home a medal, but they put up a great fight and proudly represented their country's flag while paving the way for bobsledding to be brought to Jamaica. Now back to you, Mr. Chad. All right, Dallas, thank you for sharing those sports facts with us about bobsledding. Now this time, I'm going to turn it over to y'all's teacher. We'll have a great, wonderful Valentine's Day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow for Tuesday's News. Y'all have a great one.